Hey, kindergarten, it's Mr. C here. I'm hanging out with my friends, Mr. M and Miss A, and they are gonna help me read today's story. I like myself. I know Mr. M likes himself. He's very jovial, he's always a very fun guy, right? And Miss A with her eh shoe sound, she always wants to share <laughs> stories that she loves with her friends. So, um, here is today's story, I Like Myself. It's written by Karen Beaumont. That means that she is the author. It is illustrated by David Catro. That means that he is the person who drew the pictures. Excellent. Okay, let's begin. I Like Myself. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. See, it's all different sorts of people. I like my ears, my I like my eyes, my ears, my nose, I like my fingers and my toes. She likes her nose, her eyes, her toes, her fingers, her ears. These are all things that are very special about her. They make her unique and it's good. It's good to be your own person and look the way that you do. I like me wild, I like me tame, I like me different and the same. Looks like she's, oh no, is that big lion afraid of that tiny little girl. Silly lion. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. What do you call that? That is her our skeleton. Don't be scared. We all have a skeleton inside of us, right? Even your pets have skeletons inside of us. It's what holds us up. It makes us able to move around. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe, and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. Looks like that boy is being kind of rude. And you know what she's doing? She's ignoring him. She doesn't care because she knows that she is perfect. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so... No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. Oh my gosh, what kind of a nose does she have? It's like a pig nose. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. You guys have lips that look like that? Purple and polka dotted? or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. 
I like myself because I'm me. Whoa. And that's very important. You are very special just like she is very special. We're all different in so many ways. You should never hope that you were like somebody else. We're all different. Do I look like any of you? Mm -mm. Do any of you look like me? I don't think so. No, everybody is special in their own way. So don't worry that somebody has mm, blonde hair or somebody has purple shoes or somebody is tall or somebody else is short. Don't worry about those things. What's important is what's on the inside. How do you treat people? What do you feel? How do you feel about yourself? How do you treat you know, your pets and your friends? That's what's important. It doesn't matter what you look like. It matters how you are. All right? So, I hope that was a fun story for you guys. Uh, Mr. Uh, M. Mr. M and Miss A, I think, certainly enjoyed it. And I see Miss E and Mr. B are off over there reading the stories as well. So... We will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.